they almost push up the boards some eight, ten feet. Oh, there. They, they moved the boards. So the boards were back here. This is their 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 tree protection was about ten feet back from where it is now. They've moved it. You're not supposed to touch it. You're not supposed to dig in it. They've just gone ahead and done it anyway. That's Don Mills resident Stephen Sizek showing us a neighborhood's latest concerns about a construction project on Waxwing Place. It's alleged crews moved a portion of a tree protection fence and dug a hole, damaging the roots of local protected trees. This after City News first did a story about two trees being illegally removed on the same property last July. Now, the applicant for the site was fined around $10,000 for illegally cutting down those two trees, and City News was here today as City and Inspector showed up once again to investigate the latest complaints involving that tree protect protection zone that you see right behind me. And residents say this latest incident shows that the city needs to step up penalties to deter developers from either damaging or illegally cutting down trees. So basically what's happening is the, the, the builders and some of the rogue builders know they can come in, take down trees and there's virtually no consequences and that's what's been happening. And you feel that's happening again? It's happening again. You know, there's no consequences unless the neighbors are vigilant, which these neighbors are. If they're not vigilant and they're not contacting the press, nothing happens. When reached by phone, the developer said he believes they did nothing wrong in either incident and said he had no comment. Now, some people might recall another big case regarding the illegal removal of trees on Bayview. There, the developer format group was ordered to pay $150,000 for the illegal removal of 40 mature trees. Councillor Jay Robinson says it's time to step up the penalties on rogue developers, and she's not talking just about fines. Clearly, we're not doing enough to protect trees in the city. So even though the fines can go up to $100,000, they rarely do. I did put forward uh, a number of uh, options and measures that we should be looking at as a city on a really, uh, really tackling this issue with developers by stop work orders, uh, suspending their building permits, or really increasing the fines. And Robinson says she's waiting for a city report to come back on her proposal next month, and that's when she hopes City Council will get a chance to vote on it.